everybody, this is Rob Swatsky, and we're continuing our series of histology lab review screencasts on connective tissue, and we're going to focus on cartilage. This is hyaline cartilage, and like other connective tissues, we see cells embedded within a matrix or ground substance that includes some acellular components like protein and water, salts, acids, etc. And hyaline cartilage being the main joint cartilage to offer protection, support, cushioning, lubrication, providing a, a very friction-free surface for the ends of the long bones to move against in the joint. This cartilage has a thicker jelly-like matrix and that's the bluish whitish regions here where we see the chondrocytes in the reddish stain scattered pretty evenly. It's an even distribution of chondrocyte cells to matrix. That's one of the key features to look for when you're deciding what type of cartilage you have. It is the quantity of matrix relative to the distribution of the chondrocyte cells. And you notice the cells are found in little chambers. You see some of the white spaces. Those little chambers, they're kind of like little mini Swiss cheese holes or kind of like the, the pores in a sponge. Those chambers holding the cells are called lacunae. And they're little pockets within this jelly-like matrix where the cells can survive and, and thrive and carry out some maintenance of this tissue. And we find hyaline cartilage as the major joint cartilage on the ends of the long bones as well as around the trachea and the larynx, the voice box, in addition to the embryonic and fetal skeletons. This cartilage is fibrocartilage, and this is one of the extremes. If hyaline is kind of the middle of the road, average cartilage, this is one of the extremes. What we see here is a very far dispersed set of chondrocytes, where the cartilage cells have a lot of space between them. They have a lot of matrix between them. That's one of the big search images to look for. There in their lacunae, we can see some of the white regions there that are helping to support the chondrocyte cells. But look at the matrix. It's very dense. It, it almost looks like dense irregular connective tissue in a way, but that tissue does not have these larger chondrocytes and these very prominent lacunae spaces. Remember, we couldn't see a whole lot of cellular detail at all in the dense irregular connective tissue. Well, you can see the fibers, how kind of stringy, especially here where it's a little lighter, how stringy and fibrous this cartilage is. And this is tough. If we're looking at gel as a uh, matrix for the hyaline, this is more like hardened rubber like in a hockey puck or in a car tire. It's really tough and strong, able to endure lots of stress and strain. This is the primary cartilage in between the vertebrae, forming the vertebral discs, as well as the pubic symphysis, the pad of fibrocartilage between the pubic bone. And this is our final cartilage. This is elastic cartilage. Notice the matrix chondrocyte ratio. We don't have much matrix here at all. It's very thin. The lacunae are very close together. The large chondrocyte cells within them are just crammed together. Very little matrix. This is the other extreme from the fibrocartilage. This is found in the larynx, uh, forming the epiglottis covering the uh, superior portion of the voice box as well as the outer ear. It's very thin, provides support, and maintains the shape of structures.